Paul from Derivan. And we're going to have a look at painting in oils, but we're going to use a palette knife, not a brush. However, I do have a brush to start with, and this is just so I can draw up the image. So I'm going to just draw out in an outline, and we're going to fill it in, but we're going to use palette knives. Now, you'll notice I don't have any terps or anything anywhere, because we use terps to clean a brush, but this doesn't have bristles. They're metal, so I'm going to use a piece of rag. Now we just need to make sure that it's a smooth t-shirt type material so it doesn't leave any lint or fluff in the paint. So let's have a go. So we're just drawing up with some blue paint here and we're using the brush as I said before and we just make a basic outline, not too many details because we're going to swap to the palette knife. And we start with our darks because we've got a white canvas so we can't really show a highlight yet. But once we've got some of those darks on it's a good opportunity just to drop in some mid-tone so that we really know we've got those darks dark enough and then drop in some highlights so we've got our tonal jump from dark through to light in the appropriate proportions. Adding in these pieces, what we do is to join up the spaces. So we're just joining up the paint where we've got bits that are left to be done. So with the palette knife, sculpt with the paint and push it up to and against the last passage of paint. So there you have it, a quick little block in of a landscape. So the main thing to remember here is, remember with skies, we need really the old thing of each corner should be different. Um, skies always fade towards the horizon, unless it's a big storm or something like that. And note the colour changes, so don't be afraid to make big colour changes. We've got green here, we've got cream here, we've got a putty colour here, back to pink here. Um, but it all works together. So really important to make sure that there is that change of colour. Have a look in this hill in the background. We've got from very strong blue through to mauve, through to purple, through to blue, through to green. So again, lots of colours, lots of mix. Um, this foreground in through here and these greens in the grass, it's not just one big blank piece of grass. It's from green through to mushy red through to cream through to blue. So make sure you mix those up and just make it change. It's okay to have some rest areas of solid colour as in this sandy little piece through here. But if it was all like that, it had just become too boring. So have a little play with that and see what you can do with a palette knife. 